Hello! It's God of War on a Tuesday. It's good to see you, John. Awful schmuck. Molten Amber, Smash Legend. Pardon me being a little bit of a slow guy to the start up here, but... I'm trying a different seating arrangement. I'm trying a couple of different things here. So bear with me as I get a little comfortable. Or attempt to. <laughs> How's it going, Wolf Smash Legend? Uh, I got a new chair on the way, and it's the fanciest one I've bought yet, and it's thanks to all your support over the years, so I appreciate you all for showing up, watching, and being cool dudes. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that'll be here sometime between uh, two and two and fourteen days from now. Who knows? Unless it's on one of those LA trains, in which case, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Geek Freak, we're doing an extra. I'm sorry. Hey, stupid. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm doing an extra stream tonight. I just have free time. I'm still, I'm completely recovered from the virus, but you know, I'm not allowed to go back to work yet. Yeah, Delta, I am doing better. Good to see you, Zol. I'm still going to be a little slow. This is just going to be a casual one, but I remember this point in the game. It's okay to be a little slow here. Oh, and it's going to be a long one, too. Because uh, I'm not allowed to go to work right now, even though I'm okay. On one end... I, I appreciate that. On the other end, uh, yeah, fucking, <laughs> it makes me a little angry. Yeah, I like, I like working, you know, it's, it's a thing that makes sure that you get to retire one day and rest, but hey, what are you going to do? Hey, Legion, it's good to see you. It's been a while. Everything's been doing all right. I just got over the death flu and, uh, I got lucky, so that's good. And again, like I said, <laughs> work's a no-go. So, I'm just going to have to wait a week on that, which means you get next stream today. And I'll see about making this week's streams a little bit longer, seeing as I got a hell of a lot of extra energy for it. Today was just racked up with phone calls. That's why we're at 9.30. Otherwise, it would have gone earlier. In fact, I'm, I'm back to getting stoned, but you know, they say, uh, the virus hates weed. So actually it's the right thing to do. Buy some skills. Man, all these skills look good. I'm saving the rest of the points, though. Cause who cares if the Talon bow fires faster, really? Well, that's what they, that's what they say, Barbarian. They being a news headline I saw, which, you know, the most trustworthy source on the planet is a news headline. Hey, Cody, good to see you. Cerbis as well. Scotty Lewis. I think I said hi to Soulstruck, but if I didn't, there you go. Hey, Soulstruck and the Barbarian. Okay, I'm ready to actually start. Thank you for giving me a little uh, five-minute like warm-up. I do like to start the streams and just immediately get going, but it's nice to say hi 
and kind of do it casually too. You want to beat anything beats the uh, the stream will start momentarily. Blomp, 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 like loop thing. I'd rather, I'd rather the streamer just start and go, hey guys. Yeah, I'm just having a cigarette. We'll, <laughs> we'll be on in a second. Hey, Yoru. Hey, Six Crazy Cats. Hey, Pax. Here yeah, they come. We're getting back to the God of War. I adjusted my controls a little bit. I got quick turn on a rear paddle so I can do this. Which I think will be better for combat. I think we come back to this. You think I'll regret saying that the bow doesn't need to fire faster? We'll see. But I'm pretty sure I'm right about that not being a necessary thing right now. Be ready. What? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I gotta hit two of them? How am I gonna hit two of them? It's impossible, unfathomable, unreasonable. Unless. Oh, I get it. But what if I recalled it over this way? Oh, I'm so smart. Silos did a new game plus on his own playthrough. I might do new game plus. Eh, you know, maybe we can boot up the PS5 version, see how that compares, but I don't know if I'm going to want to. So, what's this do? I mean, that looks pretty good, but I think I need to upgrade. And I do have enough XP to do it, but. I mean, the nice thing about this one is that it does heavy frost, so it stuns a whole lot. Maybe if I get more XP, we'll look at that later. Can that be fixed? I guess not. Hey, little guy, what's going on? Not quite sure what the puzzle here is. Just double checking, making sure I didn't miss like an extra wheel or something. anything we probably hit that on the way back maybe this game really does reward exploration and i like that because what's the point of making giant elaborate areas if there's nothing to actually explore if it's all just window dressing i would love to keep moving but this guy i hate him and i want to kill him i need to know how to open this up God of War does have ban as unique weapons, Primor. You prefer the old God of War games? I can understand that, Barbarian. This one plays different. 
and i like that but uh you know the old ones are good too maybe we'll do god of war 3 or something someday and then there's i got this fucking thing which you can't open so you gotta find the uh look rooms. another Narnia chest yeah no yep where are the seals why don't you point one out for me he never points one out there's one Pretty sure I got to turn that wheel. Doesn't hurt to check though. I never really played God of War 3 because I didn't have a PlayStation 3 at the time. I got a copy of it on PS4 though. And I played a pretty fair amount of God of War 2. is transforming gotta get a better look at it i mean maybe you could like arc the axe over to hit that rune but call me crazy but i don't think it's the answer It'd be cool if it was though that'd be a hell of a well okay never mind i got one <laughs> well at least we don't have to worry about that one anymore but i kind of want the treasure so is there a second wheel it's been a while i could play this in 2018 you know what i'm saying so you like the cestus i'm not even gonna pronounce the whole thing for more i'm gonna get it wrong but yeah any any fisty punchy weapons are pretty fun this game you could just go full-on melee at any point which is nice think that side hallway will get us to the temple we will find out oh sorry the the tier stuff is really really good i want to keep it i already got that i doubt i hit the other symbol from up there didn't make any sense but i wonder where the other runes are usually they're in the same room they don't like make you go too far away so i think i'm missing something obvious here although it was cool i was able to hit that one early kind of you could just avoid that chest if you didn't care for the loot Yeah, I guess we'll have to go lower. If there's something else here, I'm woefully ill-equipped to find it. Because I'm special. Try something real quick. I don't know. There's like some more advanced like hand-to-hand -hand combat moves to where sometimes just well a lot of times just beating the shit out of them with your bare hands is not only viable but ideal. But I can't remember all that. Ah there it is. I thought they'd do something sneaky like that. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. Hit, hit it. You gotta be kidding me. I'm a genius. The boy was of no help for that. Karn. Personal favorites, God of War 2, Yoru. It was a real good sequel. Hell yeah. On our way to another health bar. That would have sucked to missed. Sucked to missed. Me English good. He 
You like the third one more, Smash Legend? I need to play through it. I hear it's good. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with it, really. The only thing wrong with God of War on PS3 is that it had the Metal Gear problem to where... And it, the PS3 was just kind of a tall order back then. Maybe it was just me. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Bye. Readjust my headset here. Okay. So these guys are going to come out and attack me. Someone's growing plants in here. I suppose these open on their own. I just run across a lot of these and I'm just completely baffled as to how to open them. I can try the wheel again, but I think the wheel's just so I can go back. Hello, treasure chest. Wait a second. You know what they did really good here was hiding treasure. That's a clever place to put something. Oh, hey, Xander. You're an well, Thank you for watching Planet Dolan. God of War 1 has a really good ending. Reduce damage from Dark Elves? F fuck yeah. Okay, uh. We're gonna put that on. So, cooldown block. The unstoppable aura from sprinting isn't that important. That might be better for bosses, really. I mean, it's nice. But it's not the best. We're fighting nothing but the Dark Elves here. So, 12% defense against Dark Elves is good. Because they're not throwing too many Draugr in the middle of it. And honestly, the Draugr are pretty easy to take care of anyways. Hey, Desi. And St. Patrick Star in meme space. I'm playing God of War meme space. Am I doing good? Eh, hard to say. I'm finding most of the treasure, though. Am I playing fast? No, but I think I'm playing faster than I did in 2018. But that's not a... I ain't saying too much. What is this? One of, the, one of these? Alright. Did it help back here? Are you free? They're grounded. They can't play right now. That's fine. Time to smush some bugs. Oh yeah, sorry, RFZ. The Nightbot's kind of excessive. I tune him down, but every time I do, things go whack. Just like this. Yeah, run away.
Ah, screw it. <laughs> eh, it could have gone smoother, but it's a fun battle. You got some more for me? Game's outright saying, hey, dude, why don't you level up a little bit? I like that it's an option. I think we can use those later. Leave no treasure behind, though, I say. I like that there's, like, story-specific freak-out moments for Kratos. That's fun. So what are you looking at here? 15,000? I mean, I guess we could get an upgrade. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get two rage combat moves. It's probably not immediately useful, but eventually you're gonna want to have that rage. It becomes important. And it could help me out if I get in real trouble. I'll be glad I have that little extra edge at a very low cost. So which way to go now? Gotta use my treasure sense. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. So we gotta re get rid of this stuff, but it's attached to a monster tentacle. It is right down here. Okay, there's more than one tentacle. So we gotta find the other one. Ah. So there's that tentacle. Ah, oh, no, I got it, I got it. It's a trick question. If I recall, if I throw it and recall it at just the right spot, it'll be fine. I throw that. <laughs> I mean, I can see them both, though. Okay, no, it's just one throw. I better have done it, though. Okay, good. I was about to say, that's a little obtuse. Treasure. Oh shit, yeah. That's really rare. I like that there's, you know, loot and rarity and crafting components, but it doesn't go too far with it. Like, if you get that, it's usually because you did something a little bit interesting, like a puzzle. Not like you gotta kill 5,000 kobolds to get the, you know, erethium gold piece required to upgrade your tunic of. I don't know. Lack of incontinence, incontinence protection. Hello, vamp. Hello, woods. Hello, Arfri. You're from Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia. Hey, you sure the witch is okay? I hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. I want to open the doors. Can I come back to do this? Nonsense. Yeah, all right, we got to upgrade the boy. Good. 
Because I can't tiptoe over there. Hey, Celine. Hope you're doing good. This is one of the few games where I'm like, hell yeah, more puzzles because they always give you a real juicy reward for it. It's That's the other deal. You complete the puzzle and you're not like, that's it? What the fuck? It's more like, yeah, you want this. You're glad you got it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. You point me that way all you want. I'm still going to look around for treasure or Odin birds. This game is so fucking pretty, too. They, like, made it look nice. It has good art. I mean, these aren't super, these aren't real reflections, for example. So there's the, there's your PlayStation Five kick or PlayStation Four kicking in, but I mean the cube maps are good. It serves its purpose. The art's well made. I like that. I kind of wish they would have done ray tracing to it already or something, but I guess we'll have to wait for Thor Ragnarok for that stuff. As of this quarter, you can drop by it if you want to get updates on streams because YouTube often uh, doesn't report things correctly. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> That's not going to help. Oh, that helped. Works different. Maybe it can be parried. I don't know though. Let's try to parry it. Okay, it looks like there was a parry window there, but I missed it. Let's try it again. Shit, I hit you with the rock. Change target, why? <laughs> Our enemies are strong. Do more dark elf damage reduction. Nice. You double up on those. Well, there it is. Yep, there's Watch a treasure. Max, boy. Yeah, Barbarian, you're right. This game is unrealistic. Moss does not grow on the south side of a rock. 
What were they thinking? I hope someone got fired for that. What's this do? Oh, the whirly Durly. If I remember right, this one's really good. Like, the damage on it is significant. What am I currently using? The damage is right, but it makes you throw your axe. Let's let's try the whirly Durly for fun. Since I never do my light runic attack anyways. That could be fun. You know, hold on, hold on. Let's grab the stuff. This God knows I'm going to kill the monster thing. And the game's going to go, oh, you're progressing now. And we'll be like, no. <laughs> Not yet. If we run into trouble with the Dark Elves, I'll equip the extra Dark Elf damage resistance. But I think the 13% or whatever that I got right now is just fine. You'll have to forgive me. I got to look for the birds. I don't really exactly remember their default locations. And you want to kill them Odin birds. And I for sure have missed some already. They, they ain't just up high. They'll be down low. They'll be in weird places. Thankfully, they're always this bright green color. And there's very few bright green things that you run into in this game. Hey, man. Golden Sheba says got stuck on the first boss in hell, bro. Oh, man. Well, on the hardest difficulty, I could definitely understand that. This game's kind of unforgiving. And it clearly took some cues from Dark Souls. Like with the dodge. The, you literally get a Dark Souls dodge roll. And you got a Resident Evil 4 style over the shoulder camera. These are normally things that would fuck up a game like this. But for how they designed it, it totally works. At least once you get the combat down. Anyways, this has got to go. Take that, local fauna. I can always come back for the birds, says Silas. Oh, good. We must find a way up. I wouldn't mind 100%ing this game now that I got a PC copy. I don't know. Something about having a PC save always makes me feel confident that it's worth <laughs> knocking out. Then again, uh, to Sony's credit, PS4 to PS5 compatibility has been good. Elven artifact. There's a health I can't reach. I pop it with the. Ah. Kratos needs a gravity gun. Any other treats for me? This game's real nice with its treats. It's just enough RPG stuff, right? You could ignore all the RPG mechanics and still do okay. More than bridges. Maybe but you know, if you want to use numbers and math, you can. Now, not open those. I guess we come back there later. Cat was being a loaf earlier. Ah, that's sweet. Sharpies can't sleep on the headrest of the chair I got her. They love that headrest. They straddle it though, like they lay comfortably with their front legs, but they wrap their hind legs around it because they're like, uh-uh, if somebody sits on here, I'm tumbling right off. But they love being there. You think I'm missing? Nah, but good visuals. Looking around for treasures a joy because the art's so good. That's one of the key things that makes exploration in video games worthwhile and fun. When you got like really good art assets, it never feels like a real chore going around because you're always treated to a really good sight. Like Kratos' just shadow down there. It's long shadow cast. If they didn't put that there, nobody would care. But whoever did the lighting's like, nah, we can we can class it up a little bit, give a little extra, you know, flair for people who are paying attention. It's good. God, yeah, I do remember being here though. It wasn't too long ago. 
I think I spent a lot of time up here for no good reason too back then as well. It's a real pretty area. It's well designed. You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. I'll play with that in a second. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? I love something interesting. Reddit dwarf. I got stuff. Whoa. You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. Oops, I didn't mean to try to kill um, him. I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right. But you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. Ugh. It's made with hog pee, the one we shot. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using oh, his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive he can be. I guess that makes sense. I love that. He just he handled too much silver and now he's a smurf. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? <sighs> Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. No, tell me. Tell me your shame. Fine, Very don't. Well, to business. They need some ancient's heart, but it's a pretty good thing. At 35, 33 persists. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a good time today. Leave me alone. 33% resistance against frost burn and poison. That'd be really nice to have. Yeah, a bunch of really good resistance gear. But I like the materials for a lot of these, all of them. I need Ancient Trouble and something else. Yes, dear boy. Interesting to know, though. Light grip of protection could be good because the launcher is important, right? But uh, if I remember right, that's either like super good or completely unnecessary. And I don't want to blow hack silver unless I'm real sure it's something I want. Runic attack cooldown. So this this just lets you refresh your runic. That's really useful. But I don't know if I'll be using that. 
I need a lot of solid stuff for little ham steel. One of these cheaper ones I could probably upgrade to give me overall more bonuses, but probably want to make another one first. This is just a really good one to have. It makes the parry window wider. It's nice when uh, you run into some of the less forgivable areas. Resurrection stone's good to have. Those pauldrons would be really good, but I need ancient's heart. I got one of three, which is nice. The other chest armor isn't particularly impressive either, sadly. Belt of Ancients wouldn't be too bad. The Talisman of Unbound Potential looks really good because I could pop the active to... Basically, it... If you want to look at that mathematically, that means you get 50% cooldown on your, uh, you know, cool on your other stuff. So, you know, I could pop that and do my super twice. But other than that, it's not super impressive. And uh, Dust of Realms isn't exactly something that just, you know, drops all the time. Hmm. I think we'll just stick with what we got. Don't overspend. Someone interested in light grip or protection too, but having hack silver is good, and I can't think of a thing that would immediately make it useful. Plus, it harms our luck and a few other things. And I'm kind of happy I don't know what the optimal thing to do is because figuring out on your own is part of the fun. We got a couple upgrades. It ain't bad. Look here. Another. Hey, Coochie Pig. She's a giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? We get some frame drops here and there, but overall, a real nice presentation. This way. Yeah, there is that way, but I'm going to look for some other secrets. Hello. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. So that's two of the bells accounted for.
These ones are tricky. You've recovered, Jonathan? I'm glad to hear that, man. Well, now we just need two more of those and two more of the apples to be even more powerful. Good thing I came back here. These doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. Hello, Wolfie. We're inside. Of course. Hmm. Okay, it's not gonna let me do that. Too bad. Yeah, Smash Legend, just the different angles all I need. Well, I guess it gives us treasure. Good. Thank you, John. Might bring back weekend shows one day, possibly. Maybe not uh, on a weekly basis, though. But we'll see. No reason we can't do another Aggie again. Main reason I quit doing those is that, man, as times have gone on, there's less and less to talk about that's fun. It's like a game's coming out, and also everyone's sad. <laughs> Go! 
Oh, these are the kamikaze ones, aren't they? Oh, they're the worst. That's impressive. Guess it just gotta cut it from another angle. Retro Black Streams, ah, I will look into it, you know, here's, here's the deal with the old Nintendo games, though, having on guests is rough because there's really not a lot to them, but we could do something like play Mega Man again, Mega Man would be fun, now let me some Mega Man, read it, yes sir, from darkness, keep safe the light, didn't do a very good job, did they? <laughs> Need to do the 180 more often. Some real basic shit. Well, that's nice, I guess. Well, I can always sell the ones I don't want, though. You gotta remember that. Oh, he, he, he fell down for a second, but he teleported back up. Himself. That was his choice. We make ours.
Yeah, I forgot how effective it is to just throw people over ledges. That's important to remember. Hey, Kesha! Any birds out here? Mm -mm. Bridges. Follow me. That could have been worse. Ready yourself. Yeah, just send him over the ledge. trying something different didn't work out saw the opening to something that would work out but i just couldn't close it you know lots of combat variety in this game if you choose to exploit it or you can just r1 mash with the leviathan axe that's fine too as long as you r1 mash when it's appropriate Pathways. Hooray. This will be tricky. We could try through here. Yeah, that looks too hard. Maybe we could find the light somewhere else. No, give me a moment.
No help from the boy. It's a big funny face. All right, well, let's move on. What do we got? Ah, excuse me. Maybe I'm not completely over this junk. Last phase, you become a phlegm factory. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light. How do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Is that a bad thing? If one pre- <laughs> Quiet! I have him. You're not going. Stay back. Friggin' Mothman. Like, ooh, the light, ooh. Oh, it won't allow me to throw the axe because I'd throw it at these guys. Okay, fair enough. It's stealth time. There. When it falls, be ready. We will need to move quickly. Okay. If you say so, Hatchlack. Hey, Spirit Taker, good to see you, man. Jump, boy! Right! Look out! Here they come. Stay behind me and protect our flank. Yes, sir! Turn down! I want for treasure. No treasure? Ah, all right. Hey, I'm free. Good to see you again. Hey, mustache ham. I think I said I had six crazy cats, but I'm sorry if I missed you there.
Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want Stay to here. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It's not a gift. Still. We're playing Mad World now. My treasure. Faye. You have to come back. You left me here alone. Atreus? Alone with him. What if I just went around in circles like a goon? He always leaves. He's never here. Let's probably just follow the light. This looks like the old environment, so it makes sense this area is a backtrack, but that's not necessary. She was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Nah, I'm in, like, bland nightmare land. You know, those nightmares to where it's not scary, it's just a little stressful. That's what Kratos is having. He walked inside the nightmare light. you out 
boy. I was gone only... Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hoped you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. No, I gotta check for treasures and evil birds. This is the kind of thing Odin would be peeping in on. My arrow can't get through all that stuff covering it. Okay, we do that later. He had one job. Well, yeah, it looks like he got the job done there, Stomper. That stairway's blocked. There's a white crystal ahead, just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place. Oh, I see. You guys talking about sodas i'm getting a drink i want one now hold on what's this oh an enchantment and new skills well, i'm grabbing a soda i'll be right back All right. It's just a Pepsi. No big deal. Cheerwine is really good. I mean, all these drinks better be good. They're so, like, packed full of sugar.
Hmm. I'm going for the runic upgrade. Those were cheap. All right, we're good. Eh, I only listen to doctors for like, you know, food advice. I always end up getting crazy advice from regular people. I eat nothing but bratwurst and <laughs> weird stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I understand the keto diet, by the way. I know what it is. I, and I'm not saying it's bad, but you know what I mean. Better hear that from somebody who's got their shit together, is all I'm saying. Silver, good stuff. Just knock him off the ledge. Finally, I'll light the crystal if you find me an angle. Let us make our way back up. I prefer vodka drunk Ginsky. I miss the old era of Nintendo where they had like a little bit more spine. <laughs> Man, 
Once you remember the controls, though, you can just clobber them. Nah, I'm keeping the high damage. Where are you taking that? Here. No notes, he's just gonna be like, eh, read it if you want. I thought he's way into this. Probably gonna need this. You gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. Oh look, the blue door. That's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? Okay, we need the higher angle to knock those out. What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Doesn't that just mean water? Ah, oh, whatever. I want to be like, these are no big deal, it ain't that hard, but I have to be like, somewhat remembering these in the back of my head. They censored Honda because of a car company, but isn't that like a common Japanese last name, or at least an actual name? They're like, oh, hey. Punch out's fun. There's one, but it's a bell. Two. Maybe instead of looting a sacred temple, we could just get out of here. If I want your opinion, boy, I will ask for it. Ah. Ah, fuck off. That was pretty quick. Okay, we'll have to do the 180. <laughs> Hey, 
get even more rage mode. You beat rage, you beat green mode of the really dumb blue baby build? Hell yeah. I burnt the shit out of my hand on accident. My bad. That hurts like hell. I've been sitting there with it and I'm like, oh, it's not so bad. A little bit of ash fell on my hand and now it's, now it's kicking in. You gotta ignore it. Put a little water on it. That's all you gotta do. Give me a second here. I mean, it'll still burn, but eh. Uh, it's the best part of a burn, though. It's like our bodies still don't know how to handle it. So after you get burnt, it's like, yeah, it's just going to hurt for, you know, about 12 hours. Boo-hoo, my hand. I'll survive. Get some ointment on that. I guess I should. You can reach the bowl now. Uh huh. Go ahead. Greatest man nor tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see. Stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. Hey, XCon. Hey, Sleepy Dog Zone. How far am I? I'm ha like halfway through the bug part, I guess. Something like that. On lookout for Odin Owls. Cause I don't want to have to come back here for those. Imagine if, imagine if Kratos and Doom Slater went against both pantheons. That'd be fun. I would love that. It'd be two good characters to team up. Well, I'll just have to wait for Microsoft to buy Sony for that to happen, though. Oh my god, it's new. Oh, oh you guys. Where are they going? He assumes they're the good guys because they're white. <laughs> yeah, he went berserk. Feels like home. I don't see no treasure. And we ain't going back for more. There's those doors that I never opened then. Monsters in them. How did you open them and why the monster? You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Oh, very well. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. 
Oh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Ooh, that one's not bad. Like, good perk bonuses all around, but no cool, like, electricity or anything, so that'll pass. What can I do for you? Eh, same old stuff, not really worth investing in right now. Nothing to your liking. Uh, I see. Well, I guess we're just gonna leave then. Not a quick Great. Size, the one with the horns is back. What does he want now? I hate that guy. He will be back. Oh no, the boat isn't here. It's still back. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then. Oh, yeah. I know. Where am I going? Is those follow the compass? Sloppy. It would help me if you would hold the light up so I could see where I'm sitting. Use your ears. Adapt. I am. How 
Did Kratos' voice sound he weird for a second? It happens. Almost got all the Elven artifacts, that's good. Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. Why am I getting Kratos a bunch of glow sticks? Because they make bridges. I assume that one just goes to the exit, so how about we take a look over here? Who wants to fight? I heard him. How did you shoot from down there, little guy? Oh, fuck. Genius. Oh, man, I don't need that at all, but I'm glad I got it. Oh, some soft steel, too. Okay, not a total loss. Still pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
that one wasn't too bad it's just instead of four possibilities there were eight possibilities yay puzzles bit bot you know i'm not usually a big fan of them but this one's at least it's not like tomb raider puzzles it's similar but not like too similar boy shoot i know how it works. Oh yeah, hold on. We can take that with us, though. Oh no, we can't. I forgot the rules. Finally, we can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time. I want to get out of here. Well, that got opened, so. Oh, yeah, there's like a big old fight here in there. All right, big old fight time. Those unblockables are rough. Right? Almost got him though. Yeah, I remember this fight being pretty rough too. You just gotta avoid the explosions.
I'm sorry, can you repeat that? No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. Ah, oh, hell yeah, runic summon, that's good. We got a dog friend. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. How the hell could they Sonic 06 Kirby? It's so simple. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here. If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Bye. Got robbled, robbled of a functioning family. Poor little guy. I guess we can just do the sand whenever we want to go back there. So? Pushing the light? Who? You know. Oh. She was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? Do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Treasure. I mean, I go back and check those rooms I couldn't get into, and I'm sure there's some magnificent treasure there, but uh, that would take forever. Maybe I'll do it off stream or something, <laughs> and then if it's something special, I'll just pop a save. I don't think I left that much undone. What does the map say? I missed a realm tier encounter. And a couple of other things. In the lake of light. Was that where I was at? I was over here. Honestly, I can't tell. There's just some stuff I need to do. Eh, whatever. We'll make we'll make some progress. Come back later. You can always come back. They say. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. So what brings you around, friends? Well, that's nice for him to give me my lost items. And 
for the youngster. Oh, yeah, and I missed one of the, uh, elven things, too. Bitbot says they have a love-hate relationship with these games with secrets behind every rock. I like it, but only if the world's designed well. And the world here is designed well, so I think it works pretty good. But I also wouldn't blame somebody for, like, being frustrated with it either. How may I serve? You wouldn't be wrong. Also, upgrades are a little confusing, but I like it complex sometimes. Because you don't really have to do all these. You just equip something and roll with it and just throw points into stuff. You'll be fine. But it's nice to do a little min-maxing. Like, if I missed a Bifrost bit, for example, then I would be using a weaker axe. Would it stop me from beating the game? No, not really. When we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Good night, Jonathan. I promise. What does it say? It's about the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. You sure there's no secrets? I guess not. What now? We have the light to Midgard. Yeah, no treasure. All right. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Well, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It 
much better. Oh yeah, Brock. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed to anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. You fucked an elf. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Come on in, man. So much for peace and quiet. These are pretty nice. Hmm. So just be trading seven runic for seven defense, huh? Kid. Need some more soft steel for that. These would be nice. You again. Ain't got no dust. Good deal. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I needed that hag silver, but maybe we can upgrade something now, huh? Say the word, kid. Oh no, I got Before the silver, just not no wait, yeah. Well why not? Yeah, bit bot min maxing in this game would be a frustrating thing to do. Thankfully it's not necessary. You just kinda build Kratos to your want. Depending on the difficulty anyways. This is hard though, so the problem with the God of War difficulty is that everything regenerates, it's nuts. Well, I say it's a problem, but that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I need to make the rage combat work out a little bit better. I'd like to do a little bit more damage instead of just bopping them a couple of times. Being able to really lay into them is nice. Although, the rage mode's also good just for knocking them over ledges and getting insta-kills. Yeah, it's up to you. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. We gotta explore. There's a few things I need to do. Cause I pushed out on a challenge battle. 
Also, some of these barrels might have materials that I need. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. I guess I could run all the way over there and do that one thing, but I don't know if that's necessary. I like what benefit it would offer. So I throw the axe over there, explodes that. And crawl down. It's so, probably a treasure chest, but I gotta run all the way what over. Kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had We'll come back to that. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? You got a story. Those aren't free. I think this is where that challenge is. Hey, Death, how's you do been treating me at YouTube? Streaming's nice. Somebody throws you a five once in a while. Throws you, throws you a five once in a while. And compared to the ad revenue, which has been completely destroyed thanks to all those cancel, uh, you know, our, our, well, ever since that PewDiePie incident on the PUBG bridge, ad revenue ain't what it used to be. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know, streaming video games for tips is pretty fun. I enjoy it. Oh, I don't have any rage. Shit. Dust realms, good stuff. I hope knocking him over the edge doesn't like take away your loot. That would suck. I can't translate this without the whole cipher. It's fucked up that everybody has to pay the price for the one person. Well, I mean, salty language happens and all that. I really, if I had to place blame on what really fucked up YouTube ad revenue, which means, you know, you get shittier videos because of it, because everybody has to follow different crappier rules is that one more. the failing no market no for news no vengeance upon his enemy. brought it upon us. But he could not kill the stag alone. 
The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. You're supposed to do a few laps around here to get all the treasure. It's natural. Does this count as something I need to hit? I can't tell. It's just a log. No. got a little distracted there let's see there it is well it's just a rock no it's a barrel Frustrated about Oddworld, I guess can't blame you. But you know, Sony Santa Monica and Sony in general, they got pretty big budgets, and the people that they hire for their first party teams are like ridiculously talented, right? So it goes to say that it seems pretty obvious that they would do a good job on the port. Uh, I hope the odds Oddworld stuff's good. I mean, I guess there's always a console option, but yeah, I know how that is. It's not always ideal. I forget how to get up here. Oh yeah, the green shit. You got, no. Hmm. Well, I sure am missing something. Got another story? One more. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep. And once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. I guess I'm just not allowed to do that yet. Huh. Like, I remember I've been here before and I done dig it on the boat. Maybe you got to drain the water more. That's right. I remember you drain the water and then this is on the top of an island. Then you can get on it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Took me a minute. Hey, another corpse. It's years gold's good stuff. It's nice. They litter some treasure out for you, and you get a little bit of interaction and story while you do it. So, you know, you could skip this if you wanted, or if you really didn't want to skip it, at least they tried to pepper in some dialogue. It's a little bit of extra, right? And you're playing Breath of the Wild, and I love Breath of the Wild, but, uh... You're playing that, and as Link goes from place to place, there's really nothing going on. It's just the music, which, you know, it's got good music. You kind of have to when there's no dialogue. 
Well, not no dialogue, but you know what I mean. Hard to say which one's better, though. Breath of the Wild is uh, technically impressive for how it runs on a portable system, basically. There you discovered. We already discovered and explored through that. I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. I think you are seeing things. Oh yeah, I need to go there. Well, we'll check that out in a minute. I need to look for a couple more dead bodies. You don't have to collect too much of the uh, rare material, but it really counts when you do get it. Thankfully, they don't make you do too many laps around here. Good night, spirit. So, what other stories have you got? There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. Okay, about does it. I'm going to check this area over here because I don't know if I went up on that uh, pedestal. And then if we even can, then let's continue with the main story. I guess we haven't been over there. Can we do it? Can we go over here? There, uh... No, I probably got to get the language disc and all. Okay. I don't think there's anything that I need to get now. Yeah, we can just go do the main thing. Maybe missing one or two things. Well, I know I'm missing one or two things. Hey, Demolin, good to see you. Well, I've streamed this game before, so this is just the second run. Forgot if you ought to explore this or not. Well, let's check it out, anyways. Oh, more of those. Good. That's worth a little extra treasure. You love Breath of the Wild, but the Koroks are killing you. Oh, forget the Korok seeds, at least after a point. Once they no longer get... Well, I forget if those give you bonuses or not. If they don't give you any bonuses, screw them. I forget. All you get is like an item. It's like, look, it's a big gold turd. It's just a big joke. I mean, it's a funny joke. Don't get me wrong, but... Eh.
road past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. The sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good. Almost. <laughs> I can't just slash in midair, that makes no sense. That was real sloppy. Oh, wait, we're over here now. I guess that was inevitable. I don't know why I didn't realize that was going to happen no matter what. Is there any point to that, though? I guess I could, like, climb over there, then bring this back up, but... I don't see how that helps, really. I was gonna take a look. Oh no, no, I can just go down there. Well, let's see what's the advantage. What's the point? Maybe it was just another way to get there early on. It sounds likely. Completionist needs a brother. Did he actually get all the Korok seeds? It's crazy. There's no way anybody does that in Breath of the Wild without a strategy guide. That would be actually insane. It's like, I'll just find them all on my own. Some of those are put in places to where you just, you just wouldn't find it. This ain't gonna happen. told you we should come back with the cipher well i don't have the cipher oh look the witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles saves us some time that's true if i had a gemerald we could light that up huh Where would I get a gem? Oh, hello, Bucket. Oh, and there's just a gem sitting there. Okay. Well, good thing I found the hack silver. That's nice to have. Mad respect for the people who make the guides. Well, these days it's the developers bit body. It used to be the players and sometimes developers, but most of the official strategy guides you see are like written with information from the developers. Because, you know, they make extra money on those. Boy, over here. Okay, that's going in the journal. Yeah, I don't think we need to take that rock anywhere else, nor could we if we're going to climb. <gasps> The guides I really respect are the game fact ones, like the ones that tell you how to beat like uh, Clash at Demon Head or something like that, to where it's just confusing. Brain hurt. Wrong way. No, I went the right way. We're good. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. Ready and ready.
Nah, it can't be anything that neat. Okay. Mother, you're really hurt. It is over. Good thing I never picked up the health I left over here. Dimelin, I did a little bit of Metroid Dread, but I didn't finish it. I kind of, I got distracted. Maybe we can come back and do it, but, uh. Do you think I could carry here now? No. But I, I said no. We'll see. Okay. From what I played, I don't think I like Dread more than Fusion, but I don't hate it either. So maybe I need to give it more of a chance. Carved the face in the mountain. You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. Well, we climb the rope, whatever. It's working. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Is Prize still live on here? Well, that's my secret. I just play video games. It's pretty uh, hard to fuck that up. I think most of the folks who subscribe to the channel are hoping for more Danger Dolan content, but man, I can't write that stuff. I'd burn out within a year easy. Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they return to their home. Theodon? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. No, we made it. More black breath. Gotta be secrets over here. Where are we going? The entrance was back there. Are you in a hurry? No, but you normally are. I'm happy to keep exploring.
Can't open that yet. But there's treasure right here. You want to leave already? We just got here. No, I want what's in the spooky chest, but I can't have it. Because I got to get the power to do that in where we're going. Hey, thank you, Sir Silva. And Bidbot. stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Think there's a second light crystal around here? Ooh, my XP's looking pretty juicy. Yeah, it might be important to have later. Let's max out our shield for now. This way, then. Break everything. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. for that sandbowl it means freedom let's try what is the riddle no yoke beast nor fearful thrall nor rooted tree doth know my call not sure what a thrall is but freedom fits the rest There's a crystal in that torch hole. Should I light it? That helps, right? Hmm. 
Nothing else extra. Guess we just gotta fight this dude. Guess we have to go down and go up. Well, we can get that on the way up. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and older folk. It isn't when they're big. What of the worlds of it? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. Treasure. I mean, those are pretty cool. You can make those into good cooldown gear, but ah, fine. Goodbye. Not too hard. Hope you get work tomorrow too, Brendan. I bet there's more where those came from. Get out of here. How'd you know that was there? 
I guessed. Okay, that way is progress. We don't want to do that quite yet. And how do I get down there? Oh, I can just break that. Hey, Port Finn! With 20 bucks! Thank you very much, Poet Finn, for the first tip of the night. He says, Been a while. Military still sucks. Here's a dono from a familiar face. Hope all's been well. Always nice to jump on your stream when my schedule allows. Well, thank you, Poet Finn. I like the logo by the way nice thumbnail i appreciate your contribution helps out quite a bit but more than that it's good to see you again sorry the military still sucks but i suppose you probably knew that on the way <laughs> hopefully i've never heard anybody go oh i love my military career <laughs> but that's work isn't it you don't hear people say that about the retail jobs either Unless they're like weird or something. Like, oh, I loved working retail. I get the customers the best deals. And God bless whoever's like that, because that's nice, but for what they pay you. <laughs> eh. I don't know. Anyways, I got I got treasure and it was that that good stuff so we can upgrade the boys outfit, which will be nice. But I gotta find out what I gotta turn these symbols too so we got two there three then up there and then in there let's grab the crystal and then go up the light bridge Oh, did I somehow get it? Okay, I was about to say. Find and solve the three magic ruins. Oh, blow it out your ass. How am I supposed to know what they are? Oh, hold on. <laughs> it says in blood. BNR. Okay, I can do that. BNR. That's in. There's our. BNR. We're looking for one that it can make a B. Where's the third one, anyways? No, 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 that's the wrong end, though. He'd be out of that.
Yeah, Poe, you're not wrong. I ran into some of that stuff recently. Not a great time. There we go. John says retail's a love hate ordeal. Yeah, you know, I didn't mind working GameStop. It was just lame pay. If that if it paid, I would probably like GameStop. I don't worry about being slow at typing, Dimelon. I'm slow at responding. I just kind of play casually on hard mode. Another one. Do it. That takes care of that. I like the parry mechanic. I like the there's more of a reliance on parries than uh dodges i mean i guess there always was that kind of stuff in souls likes and all that but it's nice that we've all decided that a certain type of parry is good we stick with it boy sir and now gamestop sold their souls to nfts yeah well if anybody's gonna do it you know I'll tell you one thing, I'd rather buy something used from GameStop than eBay half the time. Although you can get more illicit things like, hey, it's a cracked PlayStation. That's pretty cool, but I mean, there's a lot of people do, that literally just exclusively sell broken goods. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, the deal is I sell broken shit. But I let you think that it's working. It's awful. I think we got everything, though, unless there's like an Odin bird I missed. I think we're clear here. I feel like I haven't seen an Odin bird in a very long time, so that means I must have missed a few. Oh well. treasure see the traps oh yeah lucky for us they set them all off be grateful we stay dead the statue we made it across yep. what does it say oh this is Durothul one of the four stags of the world tree He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yodenham while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Turn to 18. Well, congratulations, Dimelin. You know, if you just focus on work, that tends to get you through. But these days, I don't think generalized advice matters as much as it used to. Everything's too complicated. 
So, uh, my empathies to you for being 18 at probably one of the worst times in the last hundred years. That sucks. Boy. Yes, sir. Secret library. The problems with GameStop are like part of the customer uh and I know folks don't like hearing that but like if you didn't if you didn't like your used games and your you know dubious trade-ins and all that go and be a negative GameStop deal but that's what a lot of people wanted man it's just what they want market provides what the people ask for they want Funko Pops man oh damn oh I can't dodge those mod hardest that's just on hard mode but not a uh, god of war mode where the enemies regenerate so second from most hard not normal not easy not god of war mode but just hard solid severium steel it's good stuff Mountain? No, the request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. Thank you, John. It's a name, I think. Brasley. It means terror. in some sort of animal some kind of lantern no width though that is of no use to us the bifrost lights our way hey, we need to lit these torches the dead don't need light eyes open we don't need to go down there but it's nice to have it ready to go Stop that. Come on, that was just... Okay. I think if you want to blame anybody for GameStop like leaning in as hard as it is, I don't think it was digital distribution. I'm pretty sure it's Amazon. Because, I mean, the game sold for the same price anyways, but you could just have it delivered to your house, and GameStop's online service, I mean, never really did much to compete with that. It just provided the same service, which is, I guess, the bare minimum. 
But that was GameStop's bread and butter. Was doing the bare minimum for you. The only thing that set GameStop apart is that you could take your used PlayStation up there and walk out with 90 bucks. It was a store you could leave with money in your pocket. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. Looks like something's supposed to roll on these things. I remember this part being kind of hard. A demo. There's got to be a way to make that claw work. mind the mountain but actually lived here and nothing hidden in the objects you think there would be though usually is not this time That's not going anywhere. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also dwarves. Should we add to it? No. There's kind of war armor in this game I never knew. Probably should have left those there. Because when you die, you get a full regeneration, and those could be there for a fight, and yada, yada, yada. But that's a little bit too min maxi for me. Let's just try to heal up and do it in one shot. Did you boost the boy up? No. Okay. I guess I actually got to do the whole machinery deal. this works the claws on one side and if we get this unstuck oh, oh no i think the rope stuck under that rock that was careless yes sir sorry sir Oh yeah, I forgot you gotta throw the axe at them first when they do that. Otherwise you get lit on fire.
did well. He was like, level up, level up. Did I really get that many XP? Oh, yeah, I did. Damn. Okay. That one's costly. I'll grab it. Need 9,000 for that one. That's ridiculous. But it is a great move. It does a lot of damage. Because we can save up for that. And the tank rock throw. I remember that one being really good, but yeah, it's really expensive. Yeah, let's just get the charge throw. I don't even know if that one's all that useful, but I have it now. I could have gotten you past it, you big sack of meat. I got ways around most everything, especially up here. Time was, my folk had the run of this joint. Improved the design of the Jotnar traps and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, they remind me. Watch out for traps. Let's get you squared away, then. Yeah, boy. Keep an eye on that big guy, all right? You think what you want? Probably get a hell out of the steel, but the extra arrow will be nice. Outside of the socket, it's not a huge upgrade. Mm. Now, where do we go from here? We got plenty of dust, so if we get more hack silver, we can upgrade my talisman. That'll be nice. What you need? Health burst on precision throw. That means if I get like a headshot, I might get health, which could be pretty good. Executioner's cleave, you get a heal. I do use the cleave a lot. And just a kill with the axe gives you a health burst. But the stats, the stats. You lose like 10 vitality. I know you gain 10 vitality, but you lose six luck, six runic, and two strength. I wish mom were here. Oh, I'm so close. What can I sell? Here? 
Wait, well, how much do I need before I start selling stuff? Something on your mind, boy? I need like 1,024. Okay. You got something else in mind? There we go. He can heal me better. That may be a bad thing to spend, but whatever. It's fine. It's something. Oh, there's Hacksilver sitting there the whole time. Damn it. Big. Hey, Douglas. Yeah, I might want to save on the solid steel. More traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. Okay. You okay? Of course. There we go. <laughs> ah, I think I got enough of that steel stuff to have gotten a better upgrade, but damn it. Screwed it up. I guess I'll just have to wait a little longer. I can move it. Uh, 
Now, before I move it, let's make sure I'm not missing any treasure. Yeah, Microsoft did acquire Activision, which is probably the only way Bobby Kotek would ever quit the company. So, I mean, I suppose that's good all around. We'll see. It's like, what's worse, Monopoly or a shitty company? I mean, if all the companies are shitty, but the Monopoly is average. Unfortunately, the Monopoly's better at that point. So what are you going to do? I feel like I missed something there, but now eh, whatever. Maybe there's a way through that big gate up there. Let's just kick that down for now. Don't need to climb down there yet, though. Okay, I guess it's a shortcut, and I'm okay with that. I don't want to visit the dwarf again now they got all this steel i don't know if it's enough though where, where can i get my resources ah damn so if i didn't get the boy the armor i'd probably have enough steel to get the one upgrade that i want oh well Double check for treasure always. Atreus here.
Not quite sure how to get up there. The scalpers are a big issue of the PS5, but the same thing's happening to graphics cards, so it's kind of... Not only you got scalpers with the graphics cards, but the prices are all jacked up. Nonsense. Look! Another lantern! Broken. Use it. What could they be for? There's something special about them. I can feel it. So some enemies ought to just avoid. Understood. Oh yeah, I still I still gotta do this little secret down here. Didn't remember my treasure, did it? No, oh, okay. At least it remembers that you got treasure, so you don't have to like pick up everything. Oh, we push that further over there. Yeah, all right. Well. I still think there's one area I need to check out anyways before I do that. So let's go do that. We're going to do this. Nope, it's open. Damn it. Now to get a good deal, you just got to be really persistent and make it part of like your daily routine to check for it. It's as, I hate to say it's as simple as that, but that's just how it is. Want the brand new console? Then devote your life to it. snes mini i guess i can't blame you john but after a while i'm like why do, why not just run an emulator because <laughs> even those things run emulators they're not one-to-one -one. Yeah, it's a shortcut back to this area but we already been there nothing worth doing over there yet take that chain down Dodging that. Look at 
all this old stuff. If it is not useful, leave it alone. I know. Just solid armor. Well, that's nice. I don't know what we're still doing here. Well, I think the reason why Sony ported God of War and a lot of the other stuff, it's like they're not going to sell that many more copies of it. People won't buy it on PlayStation for $50 because, well, you can get it at GameStop for way less, right? So, you know, bringing back the GameStop arguments and all that. So, with that in mind, if they re-release it on PC, they can charge a full 50 for it, and people will happily buy it because, you know, it's a new game if you're on PC. You had not played it, it's new to you, right? And that works. I don't mind that too much. PC exclusive. P you know, usually the PC port comes second anyways. That's how it used to always be. The whole simultaneous console and PC release things kind of new. I mean, slower cooldown. I mean, less cooldown. We'll try it. Besides, I haven't been holding down X anyways. I haven't been using it. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. That was a nice dialogue line. I would have ran away.
go crazy, <laughs> sir. Self, go crazy. I mean, that's a good one, but it'd take a lot of XP to buff that up. Let's keep it what we got right now. That was an easy fight, actually. Hey, and a frost flame. Good. You can get an axe upgrade. Anyways, what was I doing? <laughs> There we go. I forgot, did we go this way? Follow me, Atreus. No, we didn't. I forget which way's progress. I assume once we go up that, there's no coming back, so let's check this area out first. How do we keep those gears from moving? Freeze them. There's a bird over here. I think I was here already. I just didn't notice the bird the first time. Oh, that was a good throw. We got to take out like 15 of them. We get a solid 250. That's nice. Yeah, we were already here. I just didn't notice the bird, or maybe the bird spawned in after. I don't know. The work it is. And don't be letting that spit fister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Ah, I just need one more piece of solid steel. If I didn't buy the boy the upgrade, we could have gotten an enhancement socket on the uh, item I've been running, plus a pretty good defense boost overall. Well, I'll just have to keep an eye open, I guess. Now where should we go? At least we got that taken care of. Where were we on that other thing? Hello, Fruity. <laughs> Sir Silva, I can assure you that the amount of fan art that I have gotten has ranged to the most debauched pornography you could imagine. And it it is impossible for it to be anything worse than what i've seen before i say that with full confidence so don't worry about me i've seen it i've seen it all it's just a cartoon but i appreciate the fan art nonetheless Now I could just load a save back and do all of that again and not get the boy the clothing and then but that they're gonna give me another solid piece sometime soon. It's not like we're dying all that easy. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top. 
There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Wait. Wait. I think I know how it works. Ask them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Stay back. There's treasure. What do I think Sony will do about Microsoft buying Activision? I suppose not much. I mean, they already have pretty good development studios at Sony. They're not like, you know, helpless. They're maybe not quite up on Nintendo on the first party stuff, but they do know what they're doing and they're diversifying over to PC, so. I mean, it's looking really good for Microsoft. You can't deny it, but I don't subscribe to the ideas like, oh, it's the end of Sony. Eh. Maybe wishful thinking on that end, but I, I really doubt it. But they are in a bit of trouble when it comes to having the most games. So there's that. The tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. More tests. I wonder how it's gonna affect Diablo's development. Like all that weird, like, you know, Korean mobile phone stuff that they got blizzard doing i wonder if that's gonna stick or if they're just gonna 86 that and go nah they're xbox games now that'd be nice i mean you know it would suck for the oh, korean market i guess but eh. not helping see you on the other side ready yourself boy do something do it Oops. Hmm, how do I get that treasure? Oh, I see. Yeah, Nintendo Switch Online is not a terrible deal, but I mean, here, here's the problem with that, like, you can just buy a system off Amazon right now that has every NES game on it. They just sell it and nobody stops them. So, like, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it just feels like you're paying extra all the time. 
Like, why isn't Nintendo just wheeling out the works with the Nintendo Online thing? Why, why don't they give us all these Nintendo games? They run fine on the emulator. It's the same emulator everybody else uses that doesn't want to pay, right? So how come it's $8 a year and they, like, trickle feed out some, you know, a couple of games you want and then a bunch that you never heard of and probably will never play? Another mining I feel like they're stretching it way too thin. So, you know, Microsoft's got that Game Pass and you can just play new stuff. You get more new games on Game Pass than you do Nintendo games off of the Nintendo, you know, program. Which is weird considering it's just a bunch of like 28 kilobyte ROMs sitting around that cost pretty much nothing to host and put other places. Eh, just... I mean, it's not a bad deal. It's just... It feels like they could have given you a better deal, and they just chose not to. That's all. That's disappointing in its own right, honestly. That did it. Or not. Wait, hold on. It could be treasure. <laughs> ah, little dwarf. He's like ah. <laughs> Definitely miss some stuff though. This game has a lot of treasure. I like that. The other thing I like about it is that the treasure isn't really all that necessary. The XP upgrades you get are pretty much enough. Alright, moving again. Hey, when we get to the summit, how far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. It's hard to make an argument against the emulators when they don't provide you the service that they could. Like they're holding back on you. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. Oh, he's done for. Fuck. that Pushing them over the edge works just fine. I'll have to remember to do that more often. How was that for fun? I get it. I should worry more. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. I think part of the lift is stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? Go. I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. 
Now be ready. The only real problem I got with the Nintendo is that they are the stingiest of the companies, but they also have the most of the properties, so it's kind of weird. Oh man, I thought I got invincibility on that. Hey, solid steel, we can get that upgrade I was looking for. Shouldn't we get moving? They could be back any moment. Treasure. Hey, Dwight. What then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your trading. Okay. Man, this game's a looker. Hey, Ghost Wolf. Hey again, Dwight. Hope you're having a good evening. This stream today is extra. Also, I really wanted to play God of War, so, eh, you know. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm yourself, boy. But stay behind me. Yes, intense. Hold. A dang old blood crystals what that was. Hell yeah, the why this game is great. That looks like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. 
crystallized sap, and there is power inside. Incredible. Nah, Thor's hefty in the Ragnarok. We get to see that. He's also a huge cunt. It's great. I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Yes, I see. Someone's screaming. What is their treasure? Eh, okay. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. It's like a big old cat. gnarly Shit. Okay.
That's a big miss. some buffering damn and there we go okay we're back to lower the crane on my mark I, don't know how this thing I do not care be ready oh man that was a fuck up Putting the health right there. That's mean. Well, I, that, that tripped me up. Damn it. That's why I get for streaming at 1440p. Oh, damn. Okay, you got me there. Get it on PC, Walter. That's why I'm playing it on. That's why I got the Xbox wow. prompts. We actually did it. And you? Ah, uh, but 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. Broccoli! What are these? Rated mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure that I value a weapon's look, no, over its purpose, that I'm pretentious, no, and uptight, fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any. Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Before I grab the tooth, any other treasure laying around? No? Okay, we're good. Killed the dragon. That was a good sequence. You don't get that out of PC games, so it's nice to kind of see a big segment like that, you know? What 
Watch where you grab the... Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Cool. Now we can get more treasure. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um. Oh, I, don't want to oh, oh, I see. You figured it out on your own then. Just never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. That's right. Yes, yes, come in. Anything you need, young sir. Oh, what more do you need? Yeah, this is the one. The pricey one. I don't suppose you could try keeping that from me. What? No? No, just a, it was a question. I'm, fi I'm fine. I'm fine. I mean, the defense and cooldown is nice, but I have been enjoying high strength. Damage is great. How about you, young one? Yeah, it was all defense and cooldown. I don't care for that. Now this is worth upgrading. Later, Demolin. And what do you have your eye on? Hmm. I can make a rare enchantment, huh? Or do I want to spend the dust on it? Let's roll the dice, why not? Was there something else?
Hell yeah, health burst on parry, I'll take that. I don't have to worry about dark elves right now. All right, I'll take the burn protection. Eh. Let's check out skills. Runic abilities come last. Yeah, I would say so. Hey, thank you, Walter. I appreciate it. Wish I was speaking more, but I'm just, I'm kind of getting my uh, voice back after not speaking for a little bit. A little bit of a virus deal that happened. Well, hmm. Oh, I wasn't even wearing the good one. All right, well, I got to take a leak. You know, I'm going to make a sandwich too. I'll be right back. Won't take too long. Might take longer than you'd expect though. Minute or two. I'll be right back with uh, have a sandwich. <laughs> so, uh... Bear with me, we'll, I'll, I'll answer some questions when I get back, so if you can think of anything you'd like to ask, whip it up, and I'll let you know what I think. But, uh, yeah, bear with me.
I'm back. Douglas, uh, I did Devil May Cry 5 on hard, I think. Not Son of Sparta mode. I forget. Is it like easy, medium Sparta? Or is it like easy, medium, hard Sparta? Either way, I'm pretty sure I did hard. But that was DMC 5. I didn't do 3. Eat my sandwich while I answer questions. Ghost Wolf, I think that Activision buyout is like a lesser of two evils thing. Like, yeah, you don't want to... You don't want Microsoft to have a monopoly, but I mean... Fuck Activision, right? <laughs> eh, eh, may some, at least maybe we'll get better Diablo games. Maybe a new StarCraft if we're lucky, huh? 24 hour stream maybe sometime soon we're getting there aren't we i'm feeling better i'll tell you that how you been bob Microsoft should buy EA too. I don't know. I mean, a lot of EA games are just like similar to other games that Activision, Microsoft already have. It's outside of like Dead Space and Mass Effect. I don't see what the big gain there would be. They'd be better better off just buying the rights to Mass Effect by itself. Sparta says, uh, Sparta is hard. And I did Devil Hunter, which is medium. Ah, okay. Well, maybe we'll do DMC5 on Sparta, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Pokemon's Master Ants, out of all the games I've yet to finish on stream, which one would I most likely finish up sooner than the others? I suppose Manhunt. Either finish it or just redo it from the start. <laughs> one or the other. Been working. I hear you. Hey, Dustin. Are you headed to school? You yeah, have a good day at school, Fruity. It's great having you here. I'm going to put in like an extra hour because I can and because Poet Finn was so generous and I'm kind of curious to see if 1440p will like save after a five hour stream. 1440p mode. It's a bad idea to stream like this, but I like it anyways. It looks so good. It looks so good. No, I'm sorry someone's bullying your woman, Dustin. That sucks. I guess everybody defines what's, you know, just harmless trolling versus what's actually like, you know, shitty bullying, but, uh... I don't know. When you got somebody, like, stuck on your ass who, who won't let go of shit, it's hard not to hate them. But that's the point, isn't it? So the question would be like, how do you stop somebody from doing that? You really can't. Like, 
flavor really gets to you. You just gotta block and move on and not acknowledge it. The more attention you give them, the more uh, fun it is, right? So if you tell them off and you let them know how angry you are about it and how you're gonna get them and how they gotta stop and this and that and the other, you're giving them just what they want. It's like a child who like, you know, pulls at your shirt for attention. They know you can't deck them. Well, I mean, can, but you'll get in trouble. <laughs> Bob says, 24 hours, I'll go on a rant that you hate women folk. Eh, you know, these days, I might get a medal if you do that. Be people be like, oh, he's right. <laughs> I, I gotta admit, I kind of missed 2017 YouTube. Yeah, sure, everybody was, like, doing really cringy political stuff, but, uh... You sure did hear a diverse set of opinions. Now it's just one or the other. It's either like, ah, I hate thing, or ah, I love thing. I gotta go to, like, Red Letter Media to get a nuanced movie review. I don't know. I'll miss everything from the old days. Hey, Nez Dog. Yeah, I'm still on YouTube. I just play games, although I'm not even playing it right now. I'm just sitting here sipping and answering questions, but hey. Good, Dustin. Yeah. Don't let people get up your crawl like that. But, you know, the most important thing you can do if they're trolling your girlfriend is to give her comfort, right? Even if that means maybe once in a while embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, like, you gotta step in and take a shot from your woman, even if it's unjust. Because that makes her happy, and that's what you want, right? Yeah, we had subhuman, then sublin. Viewers come and go. And that's how it works, you know. It's sad to see. But, eh, man, it's the internet. You can't take it too seriously. Same with the bullying, same with anything. Even something like the closure of Planet Dolan, which sucked for me. I hated that. There's, like, obvious reasons why I dislike that. There comes a time in everybody's life where you just got to move on. Now, me, I'm stubborn. I'll stick around just for about anything for almost ever. Because I just, I don't know, I'm stuck in my ways, man. Call it a character flaw. But being angry at the world turning, well, that's futile, isn't it? You took her out and she had fun. There you go, Dustin. Anytime somebody makes your lady angry, just take it as an opportunity to make her happier. And trust me, you'll have a better life for that. Happy wife, happy life, right? Well, I say it's a fair trade. Nah, YouTube's always fucking with you. That is the one solid constant on this website. Is that they're always fucking with you. So, you know, it's sad to see people come and go. It's sad to see things change. You know, channels you used to watch are gone now and all that. But all along, YouTube's just fucking everybody. And they're fucking you and they're fucking you. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Like, realistically, I could delete my channel and open up a new one and try a few different advertising routes, right? And I could bump the number up, but I would have to just keep doing that cycle, right? That sucks. I mean, not everybody has to do it, right? But even look at your favorite creators, like uh, Critical. I love Critical. His videos are still good too, by the way. But it's no longer the fun gameplay video. It's the drama channel stuff. It's like uh, drama alert light. Like for somebody who doesn't want it to feel too scummy. 
I mean, he still does gameplay videos. He does his best. And it's not his fault. YouTube demands that he does it. It isn't, uh... I don't think Critical sat down and said, I want to talk about Pokemon. I don't think he really wants to do that. But, you know, the viewers and YouTube and the algorithm demand that he does. So he could keep doing game videos, but it would be to his detriment, right? So you see how the system works. Even if you, like, if you want to succeed in it, you kind of got to do the Hollywood thing and be a little bit of a, a clickbaiter or all that. Guitar Hero Rock Band? Oh, hell no, Douglas Moore. They'd string me up by my nutsack. Yeah, and that's dog. The problem with Planet Dolan is that uh, the quality of writing went down in late 2017. Uh, we addressed it and that we tried to fix it. But as we were trying to fix the writing and make the whole Planet Dolan thing better, you had PewDiePie on the bridge and PUBG, if you know what I'm talking about. And then you had like two other things that were politi politically driven, like, oh, right wing voices. Blah, 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 blah. And the ad revenue dried up. So, you know, the money that was there that we could have, like, you know, spent strategically to get better writing and have the show be better, well, that got chipped away at while we were doing nothing we were just doing our job and uh our budget just got hacked to shit so how are you gonna pay for more riders how are you gonna pay for all this extra stuff if during your adjustment phase you get your pay cut down by like you know eight times what it used to be it had to be you know scaled down a bit And you think, oh, well, they upgraded on the animation, did more art, art stuff. It's like, yeah, but you'd be surprised how much more expensive good writing is compared to animation. Animation is good and tough making all that, but getting an actual group of writers who are good at their job and consistent and don't mind staying there and don't get burnt out, or if they do get burnt out, they're smart enough to be able to cope around it and, you know, well, that's that's damn near impossible especially when you keep getting your budget cut unfairly too because the videos didn't really start diving in views until way after the damn uh reddit stories came in the some of those reddit stories did really fucking good so you know there's that to consider Okay, here, I'll put it like this. In the old days, in 2017, we could have done a video of 2 million views, right? And say it made $10,000, maybe. Same video in 2020 with 2 million views, which you would get. Instead of $10,000, you get $2,000. So, the idea of paying people to do stuff daily, and, you know, some videos are going to be stinkers. They just aren't going to perform. That happens. But the ability to do that was just stripped away, man. And then once views got even lower because we weren't adjusting for the algorithm because the entire YouTube foundation was shuck up by those shitty journalists and all those assholes. Well, it just it just destroyed the market that we had. It would be like, uh, I don't know, running a bean farm and then you get a letter saying beans are worth eight times less than they used to be because a bean said the n-word and nobody likes beans anymore and it's like well i didn't have nothing to do with that i'm just a bean farmer but you know that don't fucking matter so you know the quality going down was a bad thing and it could have been prevented right but that's hindsight and that's 2020 the real problem and what nobody saw coming was the repeated you know, apocalypse is just over and over and over and over again with that. And that really fucked things up real bad. Oh, I'd go to your uh, next race, Dustin, but I don't spend much time outside anymore. The whole virus thing's, uh, well, it's, it's just outright driven the world crazy, too. So, you know, in addition to all that YouTube shit, like on top of all that, all the conventions are shut down. So, you know, let's say I am a bean farmer. I can't go to the bean convention and show people my beans. 
because everybody's getting sick. So, you know, just about every avenue, you, avenue you'd have to reach out to expand your business to change things. All of that got fucked. And a lot of that is still fucked. Uh, the MAGFest thing happened and everybody like <laughs> spread super virus. There's an anime convention, anime con in New York. And they spread so much of that uh, virus that it made the news. So, you know, you look at something like Planet Dolan from the perspective of how would you have fixed it and how would you have stopped it? Even if you managed to like navigate the bat, you know, the writing issue and all that other shit, we would have been completely annihilated by the adpocalypse and the virus. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think there was a way to make that work. It was just, uh, oh, and not, not the least of what YouTube, but I just assume you are, you all already know that YouTube's just routinely fucking you anyways. Like even if there were no adpocalypse, it would still be rough working with YouTube. So there's my perspective on that in case you're curious. As far as like who is the best narrator or whatever, I don't think that even really mattered in the long run. As long as the video was written well, it could have been read by anybody. It just helped when, uh, you know, people liked the narrator. And, uh, you know, sometimes they preferred Melissa, sometimes they preferred me, sometimes they preferred Pringle. That's just how it is. Who is the best narrator? Probably Dolan. I mean, he's the one who started the damn channel, right? But understandably, Dolan uh, was burnt down on reading. Like, coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? You coulda, shoulda, woulda just had Dolan doing all seven videos a week. But that would have burnt him out, too. So, again, you're running into that entropy, right? Ideally, it's like, ah, we want seven videos a week from Dolan, but he'll be burnt out. His voice will be shot recording seven a week, and he'll <laughs> hate his life. And the numbers would have been high, but he would have gotten fucked anyways, right? So, uh, yeah, it, a, a series of inevitable miniature Armageddon's kind of set up the destruction for the channel. And then the end of it was Dolan rightfully saying, fuck this. I don't want to continue. I don't want to lose money. And how can you blame him? I mean, obviously you don't want to just like pour money and time and effort and building a business around something that's inevitably just poisoned and gonna die and i say poisoned because it really wasn't the fault of the writers or the actors or the management or anything like that even when it started getting really clickbaity with the porno stuff and the thumbnails that still could have flown that still could have been fine but the routine fuckery from youtube and the routine fuckery that people did to YouTube, especially journalists and all that, Washington Post fucks and all that, are like, oh, let's attack the advertisers, you know, fucking stupid dying medium coming after YouTube. And that didn't just affect us. Any channel that you remember that's just fucking gone now, you, you can thank Washington Post and all those fucking stupid shit newspapers. They're the ones who came in and started harassing all the YouTube sponsors, right? So, you know, dying medium lashing out against a uh, little guy, basically, because it didn't affect the big people that much. You know, the folks who are really, really deep in there, critical just had to adjust a little bit. Hit critical shit could have gone downhill, though. He could have said, no, I don't want to do drama shit, and it would have affected him terribly. What I'm getting at is, uh, you know, do you, do you want to please a system that fucking hates you and wants you to die, or do you want to, like have fun and i think most of us have chosen fun uh even though it's not exactly the profitable thing to do now you probably say what's the downside of choosing fun well by choosing fun uh our budgets are significantly hampered hell i've probably done the best out of anybody just because i stream the video games Anyhow, that just ate up 30 minutes. That was fun, though. Thank you for listening. It was fun. Look, you can get the dragon's mouth. Wow. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? 
Where'd you learn how to do that, Cindric? Well, after Brock and I parted ways, I undertook some study in Vanaheim, truly mind-expanding. Now and then, I need new inspiration to grow creatively. Part of why we split up, my brother and I, he's stuck in his way, so our work stagnated. Sure, we mastered weapon making, but then what? Change is a part of life. If you can't adapt, learn to thrive, you'll be left in the dust. And that's fair. Okay. Until next time. Before you go, see that you take special care near the peak. I'm pretty sure Odin is protecting something up there. And you don't want to get on the Aesir's bad side. Who? Us? I like this guy. He looks like he should have a YouTube channel telling me why capitalism is bad. That's okay. He upgrades my weapons and he works hard, so good for him. What's that sword you're making? Oh, well. Goodbye, dragon. That was a fun fight. I used to talk more during streams, too. I think I used to be a bit more goofy. But, you know, again, as, as YouTube barrels down on you, sometimes you just want to enjoy things. Not play it up too hard. <laughs> Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined. Disciplined. Not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure. I know. It's just... It feels good to be strong. You know? Yes. Oh, wait. I know. You do this. Give him one of these. Hey, Lucky Nugget. Brock looks horrifying in the new art style. You, that could be a million different Brocks. Boy, I do like that one just because it's raw damage. I'd have to upgrade it to get as much as Nord Tempest. And frankly, this one does uh, multiple hits. I think it does its damage a little faster too. We'll look out for that though. It could be good. This game fucking rocks. Later, Sylv. Or Sir Sylv. Sir Sliv? Sir Sylv. If I was going to do another 24 hour stream, this would be one game I'd consider playing. Because it really is hard to put down. And it is fun. Ready yourself, boy. Yeah, hard to hard to take somebody saying, "Oh, Sony's got their days numbered" when they can use their Santa Monica studio to make all sorts of really, really good first-party stuff. That crystal, I shot it once. It's glowing again. I'm not even like big Sony fanboy or anything, but uh. Yeah, buying Activision isn't exactly uh, free for Microsoft. Like, really, who wants to play Overwatch right now? I guess some people do, but now eh, Overwatch. A multiplayer shooter game where people are really whiny and shitty? Oh, boy. I can't wait to see have somebody get angry at me because I didn't do the flippity dippity do with uh, Ron Johnson. 
because that's the character you got to pick because that guy's picking the other guy he's oj simpson you can't you can't be uh somebody besides ron johnson if they're oj it's not fair we're gonna vote you off the game will choose your character for you so it'll be fair fuck that league of legends shit too League of Legends, oh, if you don't pick the right thing, you can get kicked off the thing. You cannot be Platinum Diamond anymore. Fuck off. Making Counter-Strike look like a nice little environment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of playing these multiplayer games if I can't experiment around without somebody having a cry fit? And, you know, I say a cry fit, but the, the real shame of it is... The game supports that. It's like, yeah, if somebody's not using proper tactics, you should just shit down their fucking throat. <laughs> like, oh, come on, man. Ah, oh, damn it. Now's where the game gets tricky and enemies have immunities. That's okay. Man, it's such a fucking good game though. You wait for that to turn over to the XP one. It didn't give you much XP, but actually, I don't know, 29's kind of big. You can earn rage and stuff other ways though. Oh, the already tracer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was the beginning of it. I've heard it's only gotten worse since then. Where like people will just not play the game. Like if I pick Winston and somebody wants to be Winston and I'm not high ranked as Winston, they just like exit the the fucking lobby. <laughs> I hate that. That's the worst. Kick it in. Oh, the combat's so good. It's secret time, you little shit. Another one here. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. Oh, uh, need a dispenser. Well, the problem with Team Fortress is that there's not enough support from valve and they got a bot problem to where like most matches you're just not playing against humans because somebody's an asshole and just like no i want to i know a way to ruin the game i'll just put bots in all the servers so you can't ever play against real people and what's stopping them nothing you know some people are just dicks i will never get tired of shattering things with this So, you know, as much as I like Valve, they're not super great either when it comes to that. Which is a shame because Team Fortress 2 is free and they did a lot of good things, but I guess ultimately they can't keep the bot problem under control and that sucks. Which means that 
this big huge open online game you can no longer just like play with randoms you gotta like find a server and get permission to join and go through a whole bunch of hoops instead of just booting up the game and playing it like you ought to be able to no wonder people are enjoying halo infinite so much i don't hate halo infinite by the way it's just kind of mediocre but i mean at least it's a mediocre game that isn't completely plagued with some kind of horrible thing if it's not you know a plagued p player base it's the game itself is sick and needs help that sucks huh I love to be able to uh, go back to a lot of my old favorite multiplayer games, but a lot of them are just flat out cursed. It's not the fault of the developers either. You know, you can't be expected to support a game forever. Yes, sir. Still though. I would love to play some really neat shooter games. You know how fun Half-Life 2 Deathmatch is? It's not balanced by any means. It is not a balanced game. But Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, especially on levels with a bunch of cars laying around on them, is a fucking great experience. And a lot of people won't be able to do it because, I mean, who the hell's hosting a Half-Life Deathmatch server these days, really? That one, though, you could realistically get like eight people to play with you, though. Okay, let me explain the Half Life multiplayer. They throw a grenade, right? And it's big and it's red and it's glowing and you pick it up with your gravity gun and you shoot it across the damn level it is great the ability to flip grenades back at each other so the gimmick in half-life uh two multiplayer is that everybody gets a gravity gun and that creates really really insane scenarios i recommend it even if you just got four pals Hi, Hilvi. Hey, Sharpie. How was your night? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm having fun. I love God of War. Good. You know, I, I liked this game a whole lot when I first played it, but the second time around, I'm enjoying it even more because I know that this combat system is fucking amazing. Oh, a good story, too. Like, you know, the father and son hey, adventure hey. is pretty good. We must be near the top. You'd expect the story to be one another one of those butt rock games, which, eh, you know, I still like the old ones, but they are kind of butt rocky. This I'm one's a little bit more grounded. I think that does the story a favor. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop.
broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Chances, I sure be. Mind your footing. She's sleepy, everybody. Man, the snow in this game looks sorry, ridiculous. I'm sorry. My phone was like, hi. Thank you. This is another thing I like about like expensive first party games. You get to see all the crazy graphical effects that they don't always do. And realistic footprints in the snow is just fun. Does it make the game better? No. Is it cool? Yeah, it is cool. Especially when it remembers all the dumb, all the dumb footprints you leave and they're so deep. Now the question is, is that a, uh, is that some kind of filter or is it actually 3D? If it's actually 3D, that's impressive. If it's, if it's a filter, it's even more impressive because I couldn't tell you if that's 2D or 3D. Hard to say. Probably 3D though. Hell of an effect. I don't want to miss any treasure, but also I get to ruin this fine powder. That feels nice. I do something here, but now I don't remember what to do. I think it's kind of a dead end from here. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Let's go open my yeah, eyes a little bit. Too, right? Yes, be silent. Well then, enjoy any good meals lately? Well, I seem to stay bored, I guess. You know why we're here. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. Must have brought company this time. Must be important that the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me. You two still tripping over yourselves to impress daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? 
You the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Well, we took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. In time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! I could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scrape in the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. Hug it through the portal. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, 
The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son, then? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. <laughs> It's a good delivery. The story is great. Yona, we're going to Yona. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's, that's inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Any Odin birds out here? Treasure. Oh, that's good shit. I think that's the intended path. Got something up here to do. I can look down there. Mighty mountain range. with the blood red leaves south of the lake i know just where to go hope she made it back from alfheim and can bring Lemire back you seem nice before you cut off his head i knew they'd hide some treasure there it is No Odin birds. I feel like I should have seen way more of those by now. I have to be missing a bunch of them. Bird, I've been feeling better. Thank you for asking. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right. Right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons. Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard. Except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the... kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, the father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. <gasps> Whoa. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Beth. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. He eat 
Working well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? This might be my favorite shopkeep ever. He hasn't the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. Fat bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. He ate the All beast. Right, what'd you break? Kid. Well, it's cool that I got those, but we don't need those upgraded. What you need, kid? Now how to keep them from packing bits off you. It's a small upgrade, but it just opened up a socket for us, so it's good. I'm sure that's a load off your mind. Something for the boy? You think what you want? Eh, probably not worth the money, really. Son? You again. Now th there's something else. Oh, I thought the kid was stuck there for a second. Okay, let's see.
Hmm. Now let's see how the Blessing Runic holds up. Maybe it'll be useful. Hmm, I might have to save XP for those items. We'll invest in arrows if we need the path them. Back to the witch. First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. Other stories have you got? There was the story of the mother crab who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, Sure, I'll look forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it. There's a few things we can get. Never mind, I guess that's for some other thing once we lower down the water, of course. Because why wouldn't it be? Hello, World Serpent. He's huge. How am I going to hit that bird? I guess I gotta do it from all the way over here.
I don't think I can reach that. This is a guess, though. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how to get that one. Well, I can't attack from the boat. So, what other stories have you got? There is a tale about a woodsman. He asked the trees of the probably got drained water to make a handle for his axe. And instead, the trees gave him a young sapling so they could keep their limbs. The woodsman made his axe, and then he returned and chopped down the oldest trees in the forest. Hmm. Just because trees are old doesn't mean they're smart. I think there is a red chest up here. Probably wrong, though. Yeah, we can't get down there yet because we gotta have the runes, I think. Find the other pieces of the language disc. I forget. Yeah, Bitbot, this game has a lot of similarities to Sekiro, but they're good ones. I'll take a quick look. I think there was something that I needed the uh, sure is a lot to see here. lightning arrows for, but I forget. It's all optional. I don't have to do this. Try another story? It can't be any worse than the last one. Very well. There was once a scorpion who wished to travel to the other side of a river. Why? If you continue to interrupt, I will end the story. Okay, okay. The scorpion asked the frog for help. He told the frog that if he gave him a ride across the river on his back, he would be rewarded. The frog protested, fearing the scorpion would sting him. The scorpion assured the frog that he would not sting him or they would both drown in the river. The frog agreed, but halfway across the river, the scorpion stung him. The frog was mortally wounded, 
and they both sunk to the bottom of the river and perished. That's sad. Why would the scorpion do that? He was a scorpion. It is his nature to do harm. Oh. That's just what mom used to say about the gods. Your mother always spoke the truth. Yeah, I visited this earlier. I don't think there's anything I can do there either. But we're hitting lots of bodies and barrels on the way, and that's also necessary. Well, not necessary, but it helps you out. Yeah, we'll fuck it right there. I don't know how to get him. Never mind. One more for the collection. can't translate this without the whole cipher. Those enemies are tough, holy shit. Okay, well I got them down halfway. We can beat them. This is be a little bit more strategic. They're harder than the dragon. It's just two guys. I meant to have my axe out. <laughs> this is gonna go for the big egg in. Nah, it is past it. It's fine. How's boy simulator? I wouldn't call this boy simulator. That implies something really dark and awful. But I like God of War. <laughs> I need that first axe hit off the bat. It's convenient to get. Oh fuck, wrong weapon. <laughs> They're so strong. Uh, we can beat them, I can beat them. You just gotta not get hit. It's that simple, but. Ninety nine percent of my XP. Man, thankfully they don't take your XP when you die in this one. That'd be awful. There we go, like that.
Oh, shit. Okay, electricity works really good on him, though. We can beat him. Holy shit! Oh no, we're gonna die a few times. 24 hour streaming and you'll meet to me. Oh no, I'm terrified. Not my career. Okay, yeah, it's hard to time up that big axe swing. I just gotta have to take the hits where I can get them. Oh, those unblockables. Just had to do it the hard way. All right. Okay, I got I got a handle of it. It's just gonna take a little bit more trial and error. They yeah, can throw your axe, but I think running away from him and throwing the axe might be a bad idea, but we could try it. Why not?
Yeah, uh, Kirby, I just gotta not get hit. That's how it's gonna go. Try to see how the charge throw would do. Yeah, Ruthless, it's a tough one. But I, I think if we don't kill these guys now, we don't get to kill them later or something like that. So we actually have to fight them. Not that I mind, it's just tough. Fuck! Already done it, Chupacabra. Should have blocked. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll beat him. It's not that bad. It looks worse than it is. You just can't drop it, you know what I mean? You gotta you gotta be on point for every dodge. And I can do that. It's gonna take a little focus. Yeah, I already used the Spartan Rage. I kinda like to save it for one of them for one of them is hurt. That way I can kinda capitalize on any pain they're enduring. Oh, I 
couldn't see there. I guess it's on me though. I suppose since you have to do it perfect pretty much no matter what, it doesn't matter so much if you get hit. It's more about how you handle the rest of the fight. Oh, it's uh, balancing between dodging and parrying there that gets me. We can beat him. I can beat this. I've done it before, probably. I don't think I skipped this one. It's a fun fight, too. I don't actually mind it too much. Oh, fuck off. The little invincibility cloud pisses me off. I need that immediate uh, overhead hit because it keeps them both in the same place. Well, at least sometimes it does. This one. need to dodge some more and take advantage of uh trey is distracting some of them but also like really getting in there and perma freezing them seems to be a huge benefit so i want to try to do that too so i got to be aggressive but smartly so Okay, so don't lead in with the spin, lead in with the, uh... I gotta get in there and get that overhead in, then do the spin, I, I think. Lead with this. It does not give me protection. <laughs> I gotta watch it. Hello, Avery. Oh, man. I, I feel like I wasn't even close to that, but they could have been parried, so can't complain too much. I can do this. I was so close that those two times.
<laughs> I can I can take him. I just gotta be a little smarter about it. I don't think you can knock these ones off the edge Kirby it'd be convenient if I did but no I don't think you can do that here Just kind of got unlucky with the positioning there. Unblockable attacks are rough. If they get put in the wrong location, it just becomes way more complicated than it ought to be. I, I suppose I could just run away backwards, but. Cannot parry the red ones, Mert. Those are unblockable, unparryable. You have to dodge the red attacks. Otherwise, this would be a lot easier. What am I doing? Get back. Oh 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Running to issues where I look at my HUD to go, can I do the Atreus Wolf attack? And I look down and they go, bop, and they bonk me. And I'm done for because they're level six. So I guess I got to stop paying attention to that and just do it by memory. I just try to find better gear. Well, we're at a uh, moving point here. I think this is the correct time to be going after him. But this is meant to be like ball bustingly hard. That's just the nature of it. stop hitting them because when they're frozen they're super easy to take on no! yeah right bitbot positioning man it changes a lot probably but a little boring Maybe we will do that. Maybe we will do that. Can I come back to this later? I, I don't think so, Murd. I think after this, there's a big uh, change in the environment, so it's now or never. But we can always cheese them. That's always been an option. I just don't want to resort to it is all. Sometimes the camera kind of gets fussy. This would be an easier fight from a, th you know, uh, free perspective. Because the arena is a little tiny.
going for a big combo there but yeah they are uh real tough Cheese the shit out of him. We Yeah, he pretty much is scapegoat bit bot. Dust of Realms. I didn't even need that, but you know what? We got it. That sure was fun. And uh we killed the bird that was over there. That's great. some of this other stuff though i think you gotta drain the lake a bit or something and i'm pretty sure once the lake dr is drained a bit i ain't getting back up to that level six fight so i'll probably be happy that i got that dust hey another bird i missed if i can even get a shot at him roy do you remember which is port and which is starboard I think so. Board is left, and starboard is right. Right? Not your right. Where the boat faces, port is left, and starboard, starboard is, is right. Right. I knew that. I did. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that bird from over here. I'll take a quick look and then we'll just go to the next uh, objective there. New game plus? Uh, we can do a new game plus run. I like this game enough. I may as well try. I have to see how quickly I can get by in a new game plus though. It might as well be a little bit too easy. I mean, you can just almost hit it. There's no fucking way. <laughs> no way. No fucking way on that. We can't burn that yet. Not a waste of time, but you know, not a good use of it either. Hello, Satari. That was a close shot, Bitbot. I still got it when it comes to whipping things at a parabolic arc. But they made sure to put that just far away enough. That's okay. We're getting plenty of Ager's gold here. Having fun. Kratos telling stories. Pretty comfy. I 
guess as long as I'm here, I should take a peek at every one of these that I can. Never mind. Can't go up that. Probably gotta turn the world bridge over. But if it's a world bridge thing and I gotta turn the big dealy bop around, I'm pretty sure I can just always access whatever's over there, so that's fine. No, that's progression and there was stuff back there we want. Hola, free free. Afri. Afri. <laughs> Got it right. Sorry about that. It's not bad to check out a few things because ultimately I'm gonna have to do laps anyways. If we're gonna get all the barrels and all the uh, bodies, they'll appear in front of you at random, I think. Uh, I don't think that they're in specific places. But you're gonna wanna spend a lot of time on the water to try to get as many as you can. Oh yeah, we've done a whole lap. And we're still picking up gold. I've already tried shooting that thing, so don't Port. worry about that raspberry. It doesn't matter. Port. Oh, the boat's left. Correct. Kratos stories to sleep too. Yeah, it could work. And the nice thing about the gold is if we don't need it for upgrades, we can just outright sell it for more uh, hack silver. And that's good. Think barrels and gold are random. Well, if it's infinite, why wouldn't you just do a couple of laps around this place for an hour? <laughs> you get all sorts of upgrades and stuff that you'd want. Pretty sure they'll stop spawning in a minute, though. I see some loot up there. And we can't get it. It's pretty calming to do. I mean, you know, it's unnecessary. You don't have to do it. But if you uh, enjoy the little canoe thing and seeing the sights in the world that you're in, 
You get a little cash bonus for it. That's fair. That's fine. Oh, they got to limit the barrels. Otherwise, yeah, like you said, uh, <laughs> BitBot, people would just, you know, make a little program that identifies barrels and stares Kratos towards the barrels. You just leave that go and have infinite gold. I believe we've hit the limit, but I'll give it a little bit more of a push just to be sure. Pretty sure you do need to turn the tower a couple of ways too, just to get a few secrets here and there. Hey, another barrel. I see some loot up there. Now, I've already been over here. Can't do anything over here yet. Need a new upgrade. So I guess we're not done with the water yet, but uh, you'd kind of think we'd be. Okay, last loop. If I see nothing, then we're going to go right for the witch. I'm surprised the stream only crashed once. Streaming at a high resolution is a dumb thing to do on YouTube. Limits your viewership and is more prone to crash and not archive, right? But it looks great! Starboard. Both right. Good. Okay, they did a dialogue. Does that mean more barrels spawn? Nah, I'm pretty sure we clean that shit out. There's something up there. I think this water looks pretty primitive, but honestly, it doesn't look bad. It's like a, a tasteful. What are you doing? It doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't really look next gen. Looks like good quality Xbox water. That's fine. I don't hate that. Yeah, I think the treasure gets a refresh after which this is like the end of the first act, basically, I think. I'll well, already done it to say basically, I think, but you know what I'm saying. Think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. 
And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Oh yeah, her uh <laughs> Kirby, I'm just, I'm, I'm nitpicking when I complain about, oh, the, the water and the lake doesn't look too nice. <laughs> and, well, you know, who cares, really? It looks fine. A lot of everything else looks good, too. This will lead out. He's just that strong, Bidbot. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Oh, we can just go to the fire realm now? That's awesome. Maybe I shouldn't progress yet. I don't know. That looks like progress. I'm going to explore this area a little bit more. Atreus, to me. Okay, I'm coming. Get up. Only one left. Don't rush fire the realm, it's literally a gauntlet. All right, all right. I'll take your advice. see Dakota yeah, it's been a while I think this is another Valkyrie chamber deal yeah
Wouldn't be surprised if I missed one of those things. I know, boy, but I'm looking for runes. Miss A, there it is. Well, we won't be doing the, uh, the tough, you know, Blades of Chaos doors off stream. <clears throat> I may look for treasure in places it would take forever to go back to. Maybe. Maybe. But I didn't find that to be necessary on hard mode on the PS4, so probably not a big deal now either. can't do this one yet but I could reach that with some help maybe we'll go let's come back Okay, well, that's way too far to jump. This will be fun. Almost there! It is! It's another one of those sand bowls. There are different runes written along the side of this one. Roy, over here. Sir. Bow. Zulu, this is my favorite one, but I got a soft spot for God of War 2. And God of War 1 is just a classic. It may not be super advanced like Devil May Cry, but it's still, uh... It's got some really good bosses, for example. But I think 2 was my favorite.
I'd like to upgrade some of these, but those XP requirements are hefty. If I remember right, Frost Giant's Frenzy is like crazy good damage, but the Frost showed a lot of use against the tougher enemies. almost want to save up for the big rocket tank because I know that annihilates things. We'll hold on to the XP for now. It's not like I'm in a desperate need for more damage quite yet. Fury of Ice Troll gets strong. Let's take a look at it one more time. Well, it does decrease charge time, so I suppose you'd be able to, like, pop it off a lot more frequently than some of the other attacks. The deal is with that whirlwind, though, I was noticing against those big guys, I was getting a shit ton of permafrost off it, which was stunning the shit out of them. I think I want to have a, some strong ones rather than only varieties. So yeah, I'm going to wait on that. Anyways, I guess we just go over here to get treasured. Really nothing else waiting for us over here. And I believe that's all the extras. I don't think you get a chance to come back to these. So if you like fuck it up, that's it. I like the importance of the weapons that you get in this game, BitBot. It really is nice that your weapons feel impactful and investing in things feels really important instead of like, you know, you got your one weapon and then there's a whole bunch of trash in your inventory for your new game plus. I mean, it could be that way if you didn't get any upgrades and didn't find all the treasures to do all the puzzles, but you know, unlikely. God of War Tomb Raider edition. Yeah, kinda. But I'd still say these puzzles are better than the Tomb Raider this. ones and the God of War I ones. Guys are welcome here. <gasps> there he is. I hope he remembers us. Boy, 
over here. Huh. Neat. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. That was nothing. Cool, we needed an oblivion stone. Ah, all right, that's a good uh, enchantment. I'll take the luck. I'll see what's up ahead. Read it. Yes, sir. Say their need things upon all who trespass. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Besides, this area is gorgeous. Really, really well done. Screams nature.
Huh. I guess I ain't got the right power for this. Maybe I'm supposed to get the power from what's your name to come back here. Here, boy. I know those rooms. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there. Hell yeah, that was worth a lot of XP. So how do I find out what the Atreus symbols are? Me. Blade to that chest. Rock piles of thing. Hey, welcome back, Bitbot. Well, let's go check out the sand thing. We can unlock it without him, huh? So what do you think, Dakota? Let's be interactive and cheat a little bit. How do I cheese past this and cheat? Oh, so I got to be able to pull that down to affect the last symbol. All right, so I am locked out of this, huh? It'd be cool if you could figure this out, Brute Force, though. I mean, I doubt it would help you much, but it's tempting.
Take you 20 minutes. Never mind. We'll come back to that later. What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove. Swim aloft in oceans above. Ah. Wind. Vinder. Look what it did! Like murder or crows. If my runic were higher, that would probably be really good though. So PXR is what I need to make this. Well, until I get the Chaos Blades, I guess it really isn't worth it. Tempting, though. Could be fun. head back to life uh, i'm not sure i understand what wait where did you get those the arrows give them to me now they were a gift do as she says boy these arrows are dangerous they're wicked you find any more you destroy them understand do you understand say it i understand if I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request, he claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Miller. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. <sighs> Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. 
When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. How'd you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. I like the punch against the door frame on the way out. I've been there before. In your face. No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. You ever punch a door frame, Yoru? It's one of the best ways to leave a room. You just you just go, mm -hmm. ah! We're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Blow me, there's barrels out here. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <sighs> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Hell yeah, ruthless reverse knocking. You slam your fist against the door frame to let people know you're fucking out of there. This is your first stream, Bit Bob? Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm not much of a conversationalist these days, man. The world's full of repetitive bullshit these days. You know, what I'm gonna do? Complain about YouTube to you guys more? How fun's that? 
but god of war this game has a great narrative great gameplay everything about it really really nice pretty chill game to just play and kick some ass on maybe do a little bit of canoeing you got a lot of hack silver too this is where the tower to Jotunheim should be feels strange somehow no doubt some arcane magics were involved i would be not at all surprised to learn you are sensitive to that Hey, oh, thank you stop for ah, thank you for stopping by Zulu. This is an odd one. I'm doing it on a day off, and I've streamed far too long. That's all right. I'm having fun. These are the death hours. Not a smart time to stream if you're trying to min max and like you know, flap your dick around about how many people can watch. But eh, I've been there before. Sometimes you just want to play a video game, man. And then you just should endless obsession and prattling over social media numbers that leads to either a dead ass account or a dead ass poster and you don't want to be dead ass maybe you slack a bit maybe things change and slow down a bit but you don't want to be uh just completely burnt out love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine for instance odin hates the giants and they him but thor's own mother was the giantess fjorgun one of odin's great loves so thor's half god and half giant weird once fjorgun was gone lonely ages passed for odin and as war with the vanir raged i could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster and after no small amount of convincing freya agreed for a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Oh yeah, the acting's outstanding for this game and I think it, it shouldn't go undermentioned. I know it's pretentious to be like, oh, the acting, oh. The mastery or the storytelling, but uh, no, solid actors. Uh, it's one thing that the Sony studio is really good at. They don't cheap out. It's not like a Sekiro situation where you really want to turn it on Japanese because the English dub is good, but you know eh, it could be better. They go all out on the Sony games. Got to give them credit. Definitely more interesting than a Halo Infinite game, at least you know, story and acting wise, or whatever that's worth to you. I don't know. all right we probably got enough barrels for now but you know it's good to have the hack silver the boys upgrades do cost a lot yeah it's always good to see eric eric's a long time viewer good guy I mean, it doesn't lead anywhere. There's a little bonus here you get uh, a couple items at. Oh, there's a stairwell you could use. All this had to go around. Unless, yeah, no, there was. Okay, let's <laughs> back up there. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Time to toot the horn. Good 
Good. Now put my lips to the horn. Oh, his texture's all fucked up. Oh no. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors that fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your knife. All right, wish me luck. travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people who first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. It's not far. You looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. Spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. We gotta go talk to Brock first. Oh there. Got what do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, oh, look at Kratos' leg. Anyways. I'll explain it to mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna show off my junk to you. <laughs> Man, I love modern day physics engines. The Bellinger mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night. See. I don't even know how to force that. Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. 
We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He knows why. I know why. You know you why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're a family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what her name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. We just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You one bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? No, you know, Kratos not supposed to do that like thing, but physics engines are so good these days it looks natural. What's it gonna be this time? Oh, here comes the fancy stuff. Yeah, this new stuff's better overall. That'd be a nice one to have. Well, this looks awesome, but I need, ooh, a lot of really good resources. I can buy soft steel now, which is nice. Okay, if that'll hold you for now. It's an overall upgrade, but not by much. Fell to the ancients would be worth having. We ain't got enough ancient rubble for that.
too careful now. Now about that puzzle. Sure, I'm open. I need solid steel to upgrade it further, and I don't believe they're selling the solid stuff. Was that all there is? Now you're talking. No, just soft for now, all right? Something for the boy. Don't scuff that up. You take care now. Okay, what's good? Ah, solid steel would have helped that. Silver's no problem, but the other shit is. What the fuck? Gabber. I like that little guy. Let's see, we upgrade this one and get plus one frost, plus one stun, then plus one damage, plus one frost. Man, it seems okay. I got a ton of XP.
But I guess we can upgrade that at any time, so there's no urgency to deal with it right now. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Bran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last, she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. This belligerent. What choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So did I. Rather play Don't Starve. Don't Starve is fun. Kind of wish the combat were better, but it, it's not the type of game it is. <laughs> Good loot.
that wasn't so bad. We fought worse already. I frost resistant. That's good. Maybe we'll use that later. Maybe I sell it. Who knows? the second tip of this long ass stream with five bucks thank you very much banana man it's appreciated he asked here's some or he says here's some money from a broke man who hates life oh i'm sorry to hear that you know it's all about finding those good times he also asked how does the pc port compare to the ps4 version also hope the new year's been good to you well first of all i got the virus but i recovered so i'm pretty happy this is a one-to-one -one port of the ps4 version but graphically speaking there's a lot of enhancements uh, i wouldn't put the ambient occlusion higher than the original it's just an option they give you all the uh bells and whistles you can so you got low original high and ultra right so medium settings are ps4 settings ultra settings are I would assume probably a notch above the PS5, maybe. Not 100% sure on that. But in addition to that, you also get deep learning super sampling, or fidelity, or fidelity, fidelity, FX super resolution, depending on whether you're running an AMD or NVIDIA. They got you covered for the anti-aliasing solution. Modern style. Even FPS limit, you can turn the motion blur off, which for games like this, I kind of like to keep it on. Let's put on an NVIDIA reflex low latency. Why not? So there's also an ultra low latency mode you can put on if you got an NVIDIA card, which gives you like two milliseconds faster response time. Hooey. So I would say, uh, Banana Man, this is the definitive version, especially since it'll be getting mods and such. So. Yeah, highly recommend it. Good fun. Love it. How do I get this thing spinning so I can open up that? Puzzle I need to solve right here. Zulu! With three dollars, or I'm sorry, five bucks says here's five bucks spent on something nice for yourself. Thank you, Zulu. I'll get myself lunch tomorrow. Thanks to you and Banana Man. I'll treat myself to a nice lunch. 
I appreciate you very much. Thank you. The tips mean a lot. I'll tell you something. Acting pays shit. So, it was always about the super chats for me. So, I appreciate you all spending so much time to uh, watch and support the content. I know the word content is... It almost makes you want to choke saying it, but you know what I mean. The game companies are generous enough to not, uh... Pass your brains in over playing a game. Playing, we can share these memories, we can have fun. It's nice. Yeah, taxes are rough right now, Zulu. They dinged me for a thousand dollars recently, so you know how that feels. Good times. Thank you, IRS. And it was their fault. They paid me too much. Like, sorry, we gave you too much of a cut, and it's our fault. It's like, well, I mean. It's, it's your fault, you know, if I underpaid you, it'd be my fault. Ah, whatever. Thank you, Uncle Sam. So how do I make this one go? Oh, hey. I like uh, the water flowing down and more puzzles being opened up. It's a nice touch. Ah, right, Zulu, don't worry about it. That's the conversion rate from Australian dollars to American. Uh, YouTube does take their cut, but look, it, it keeps your it keeps your information fucking secure, right? I would do the Streamlabs thing, but the Streamlabs stuff just doesn't protect your data. I mean, you know, I want to protect my data. But equally so, uh, me knowing, like, your, your bank. I mean, I, I don't want to ask for that information. I don't want that information, but it gives me that kind of information, right? So, uh, you know, the YouTube tax thing I, I view as a necessary evil in a, in a world to where cyber bullshit is an all-time high. Besides, you know, the YouTube server's got to be paid for somehow. Not that I think Google really needs that much more money, but YouTube isn't profitable. So if it ever becomes so unprofitable that they just stop, well, you can only blame yourself, you know what I mean? So, hey, there's a lot that goes into that. Mainly the safety thing, though. Oh man, Deadly Grip of Fury is probably good. Kills grant a rage burst. You know what? Let's equip it anyways. Yeah, I might like it. And do you need crafting regent? Regent. Regent. Regiment. Well, I believe we got everything there. That was nice. Remind you of the Temple of Time? Yeah. Yeah, there's a Legend of Zelda quality. Or Legend of Zelda. Come here. A Legend there's of Zelda quality to this. Lots of books and, and visions. Enough. No stories. Not well on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad.
<laughs> I got overzealous. Oh, I can't pull that while it's going off. Uh, all right, I understand. Killed a frog. All right, not a whole lot I can do here. Feels like a pretty decent stopping point, but since you're all so nice to stay here, we can do a little cure. Oh, fucking crab. Ah. We can talk a little bit before I sign off, unless there's a solution here that I can't figure out. I don't think there's an easy solution to this one, though. I don't think this is one of the ones where you whip it back after pulling the thing down. I think I need to have like some other stuff unlocked here. Have heard of the Mandela catalog? Yeah. It's mildly interesting. Horror stuff's not entirely my forte. The kind of horror I like or like, you know, paranatural weird stuff is like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Which I know low tier, but and damn it, I love the guy. New Bioshock game in the works. I mean, they could be, but if uh, Ken Levine's working on it, I wouldn't expect to see it anytime soon, or for anything they show to be represented under the final product. That guy sure knows how to run a game into the ground despite his talent but hey it happens you know real creative people they can be fussy i think for any extreme creative type you need a uh you need a business-minded person to be there to like shut down some of the dumb things like i want to redo the whole story and be like no you have to do it like this you know what i mean I found about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Kadoa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms. 
all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. It was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless, barbaric, heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. <clears throat> Wanna so play Project Zomboid? Yeah! Uh, maybe down the line we can get some friends in and do some multiplayer. So this can be solved now? What am I missing? I know I'm missing something obvious. Play a bird. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some Project Zomboid. Friends would make it better, though. Oh, hey, look at that. I must have overlooked it. I love the mini hacking game from Bioshock 1. Everybody hated it, but I liked it. It reminded me of old puzzle games. Plus, it was a call back to System Shock, if I remember right. How's America with my president? Ah, they're all, they're all fucking ghouls, aren't they? Name me a political leader who isn't some kind of weird monster. You can't. They don't exist. I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagop, the Great Void. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Emir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Emir's torn flesh, Odin would 
fashioned a realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's destroyer. The small, covetous tyrant. The mirror? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. The decapitated head adds to the story. Yeah, it's a little late. We have to wrap it up after this puzzle bang. <laughs> Can't say I didn't have a good time. Mm, I lose my stun and it would take up a uh a lot there. Nice item though, glad I got it. Maybe we'll update it later. Perfect time you gotta get ready for school. Yeah, I gotta get some shut eye too. Or you know, we we just opened up the next level. Had to explore it a bit. The storm barely has anything. I don't know. It had some good stuff in it. stories when will you tell one that entertains i beg your pardon you just insulted you yeah i got that so you want a cook or do you very well my brothers i'll tell you the story of runia the crawler the real story there was a huge battle right he shrine had him in the middle fighting off Aesir. a pretty story but no runia you see was born with neither head nor heart so the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. And Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh, no. 
Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hunir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice Hunir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mjolnir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. There's so much treasure in the water. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up after I'm sated with sailing. Canoeing. Well, at least the treasure doesn't disappear. Plus, you get these wow. crazy There's dollops to give you points. The gods do suck, Kirby. The gods do suck. Hey, you wouldn't want to miss these things, but it isn't entirely necessary to, like, do this whole canoe grind. It's just a little bonus story and some bonus materials. Just in case you fucked up or just in case you want to be a baby like me and, and max as much as you can. I see some loot up there. Tell me about that giant lady with the bow. She was called Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Her father was Thiotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idu. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior, and so she joined the hunt. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Fiotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame, for there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell. Holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid.
This is as good as place as any to save. All right. All right. All right. It's way too late. I'm going to I'm going to cut it before we're up till 6 a.m. That's way too far. But I do appreciate y'all dropping by for a surprise Tuesday stream with all the bells and whistles. Seven hours. A lot. But it's got to come to a close. I got to go to sleep. So I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you chatting. Thanks for dropping by. Nah. We'll see you again tomorrow. Probably more God of War because I'm having so much fun with it. So. Finally, I appreciate your ridiculous generosity. Poet Finn, Banana Man, and Clear Zulu, thank you very much. I appreciate it more than I can say.